So guys, welcome to Manchester on this very, very, very windy day. Now we never start off at this end of town because we don't usually come in this way. But a lot of building work is going on. And over the last few years, sorry mate, it's good to see all the money invested. Look at these buildings guys. So we're gonna enter Manchester through Dean's Gate and have a bit of a journey on the My Rider one today guys. Now what's more and more reassuring now guys is Manchester providing a lot of shared spaces for cyclists and pedestrians alike and some people are not grasping that the uh, some people are telling people to get off the the bike on a footpath when like I say a lot of the signs now in around these cities are giving both the, the shared space and uh, as you can see, this one here lets us know which is the cycle path and which isn't. So we're going to follow it up to Dean's Gate. So come on, guys. And here we have the famous. Hilton and Sirens. So something's going on in Manchester today. Let's investigate, guys. Aviva Studios, so what's this guys? Aviva Studios So I'm using a bit of a Sony Xperia today, but look at all these Black and white. Tight paintings on there, or prints, should I say. This has just recently been built, this.
it's a publicly funded building anyway. How are you? Not too bad. Nice bike. Lovely, isn't it? Which stats are you back? Uh, 15, 1500. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Uh, not a bit of a soft tire, but. Obviously, it's, it's, I don't mean to be too harsh on yourself, but obviously, with a security perspective measure, you know, noticing that you're taking a few images of certain angles and stuff. Yeah. I just wanted to ask, what is the reason? Oh, just general photography, really. General photography? Yeah. What is it you do? Sorry, it's private, my friend. It is private, so is this building. Um, Pardon? So is this building. Um, no, I don't want to come in. No, I understand that, but obviously with us knowing that you've taken pictures, yeah. we need to know what the pictures are being taken for. Oh, you know, that's that's the reason why we secure it, we're being put here. No, I get what you're saying, but... So there is several cameras um, and they have all got your image. image. So yeah, that's fine. Know, um, through the angles you've been taking them, it's quite yeah. sus. Sus? Yeah. Really? 100%. Sus? <laughs> I've taken pictures of all the architecture. That's perfect, as long as you're an architect, that's what you need to know. No, I'm not an architect, I'm a photographer. Yeah, I'm just doing like a bit of a documentary on the on the place. Yeah, it's, it's only just yeah, it's only just finished. Because it's, it's obviously with it being a new building, with yeah. it being a new building and whatnot. Obviously, we need to know where the pictures are, you know, um, taken from and you know the angles. Yeah, are just on my smartphone, really. Yeah. You know. So what photography company? Like I say, it's private, my friend. I'm sorry. What if I was interested in the future to take um, go into? looking at the work you do yourself. no like i say i just try to remain private really just uh, just on a just on a basis of again. just on a basis of like, like to keep me pri yeah, private well, life you know no, you're, you're free, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong you're free to take pictures and whatnot yeah obviously like i said from you know the way you're circling and stuff taking pictures but then again it's Yeah, you've got the right to ask. I've got the right to walk away, you know. 100%. But, yeah, no, no one towards right like that. Just yeah, yeah, no, pictures, no, no, that's you know. Absolutely understandable. That's absolutely understandable. Yeah. Alright, man. Alright, my friend. No problem. Have a nice Take day. Care. Take care, buddy. So there we go. Our cameras are watching you. If you look here, all these prints on the boards goes all the way down there. But it's all concrete. I've noticed that. It's all concrete. They've like polished up the whole building. But it's just concrete. If you know what I mean. But look at that building over there. It does look nice, doesn't it, and contemporary. And they've got a bit of a seating area here. And the old railway structure there, look at that. And also guys, we've got a river down there. Man on a red bench with his Leica. How are you sir? He's got his headphones in. He's got some money because he's got a Leica. I can't afford a proper camera like a Leica. Hello, how are you? I'm a journalist just here on a press day. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm just curious uh, what you think of this place. Would you mind my asking you? Is that alright? Yeah, that's fine. Fantastic. Um, just bear with me once. Uh, can I take your name please? Um, or just first name would be fine. Uh, RP. RP. Okay. Yeah. Right. So you're cycling through here. Uh, are you live in the city? Uh, no, I come visited to Manchester. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. When did yeah. you arrive? Uh, this morning. This morning. Right. Yeah. So, are you aware, kind of, of this of Aviva Studios? Yeah, or? it's amazing the structure. I've just been taking loads of pictures of the place. You know. Right. Because uh, I've not been here for a while since it uh, started getting developed. But yeah, what a lovely place it's yeah. turned out to be. You know. So what do you think, like, how it looks from the outside, you know, from, from afar, you know, the building itself, do you think it looks kind of impressive? Yeah, I do, I think it um, fits in with the area, and uh, like I say, I was just saying then, with the new buildings that they're putting up around it, with a bridge and all the rest of it, it fits in well, 
Like you don't usually see concrete structures polished up as an end result, but it kind of works. That's an interesting point, actually. Yeah. You know, because usually the polished concrete usually gets cladded. Right. So I don't know whether or not that's something of the future, but it, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, yeah, great. You know. And so will you be? Uh, so you're only visiting, but would you come here and see something? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what do they do in in the studios? Well, it's like a, it's kind of a multi multi-purpose arts venue. Yeah. yeah. They have a big, enormous what they're calling the warehouse, yeah. which can hold about four and a half thousand people. Yeah. Uh, that's a big open space where they can move everything around. Yeah. And then they have a smaller one, which is like a typical theatre. Yeah. So what does that sound like to you as a space? Ah, oh, that sounds bloody brilliant. Really? Yeah. yeah. And Excuse know, me, French, bloody. Yeah, bloody brilliant. No, great. I'll take that. <laughs> you know. Yeah, well, thanks for your time. Albert. But even if they made an effort, you know, where they've not finished yet, and all them um, security boys to keep the construction site, they put all that print on. Yeah. You know, they're making an effort around here, aren't they? Yeah. So am I right by saying they've had a bit of government backing as well? Yeah, just a backing as well. Yeah, just a tad. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, it's good. And just finally. So they did have a bit of government backing, the money yeah. was ready to go, it was going to be called the Factory or Factory International yeah. and then they had to pull in some extra money from Aviva, you know, the insurance company. Insurance company, company. okay. So it's now called Aviva Studios, do you reckon that dampens any of the artistic kind of idea of it? No, um, I thought that, when I seen the word Aviva, I'm insured by him by the way, but um, <laughs> I didn't think it had any connection with, with the insurance company itself, but no, I think it... Sounds like a bit of a jazzy name, really, doesn't it? Right, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah fair enough. But, yeah, it's good to see more money coming into Manchester, really, because yeah. that was a big argument, weren't it, with the north and south divide and levelling up and everything. Whether or not Andy Burnham's going to be able to get more from him, I don't know, but it's good to see. Like I say, I come here every year, a couple of times a year, and it's constantly growing out of the ground. So, yeah, it's, it's only a positive for Manchester, really. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Alfie. Yeah, no, no worries. It. What are you up to the rest of your day, then? I'm just going to cycle around, get a bit more photography. And, uh, yeah, like I say, yeah, it's, okay. just, it's just a little bit dull. Uh, it might be, is it meant to be like that way? Like, just a bit... Could we do a bit more lighting on this end, maybe? Yeah. But I don't know what it's like at night. It's probably well lit up, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, I was here at night over the... When we had the MIA. And it was, yeah, I had a proper buzz about it, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think it'd be great. Uh, yeah. Castlefield Viaduct, Viaduct, if you want some good pictures. Castleford. Castlefield Viaduct, so where the um, tram station is. Oh, yeah. You can go up. There's like, well, like the Roman Forty. That's you right. You can go them red steps, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can that's steps, right. And you yeah. Get some good views there as well. Yeah. And you got Dean's Gate Square and all the rest. Yeah. Of it. Great. Well, you have a good day. Anyway. Yeah, and you, my friend. Yeah, all you right. Take, take care, care, man. All take right, care. Nice to speak See you, buddy. See you, buddy. So there we go, a little interview, because um, we do love Manchester guys, we really do. If you've not been to Manchester, what a great city. Um, so let's have a look at it from this angle here, because they've done all this brickwork here. Look at this, all the old stonework incorporated. So yeah, it's really coming out of the ground. What about that for an interview, guys? 